Hi everyone, this is Dr. Sandeep, Associate Professor from Mechanical Engineering Department, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today we are going to discuss about gas welding. Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about welding. Welding is a fabrication process that joins two metals and thermoplastics. We have different types of weldings like arc welding, gas welding, TIG welding, big welding, bracing. Now, today we are going to discuss about gas welding. Gas welding is a process that joins metals by heating them with a flame caused by the reaction of fuel gases and oxygen. Okay, now coming to the equipment. We have two gases, oxygen gas and SFM gas. This is the oxygen cylinder. So you can identify the oxygen cylinder with the color code. So if you see this here, the black color indicates for the oxygen cylinder. And here the acetylene gas, the red color indicates for acetylene cylinder. And the two cylinders are connected with the hose pipes. And you can also differentiate these two hose pipes with the color code. Again, the black indicates for oxygen and red indicates for acetylene. So these are called the hose pipes and these hose pipes are connected to the gun torch. torch. The hose pipes are connected to the torch and here we have the adjustable controls to control the oxygen and acetylene gas and here also you can identify the red indicates for acetylene and the black indicates for oxygen and for these cylinders you have the pressure nozzles so once you open these nozzles you can release the gas with the hose pipe so in the two cylinders you have the nozzles and if you observe here you have the pressure gauges for both the cylinders so these pressure gauges indicates how much pressure you are releasing the percentage as well as the other gauge indicates how much amount of uh, volume is left in the cylinder. Now we will discuss about the tools of gas welding. This is the igniter to ignite the gases. This is the tong to handle the workpiece. Chipping hammer to remove the flux and these are copper coated MS filler rod and these are the hand gloves for safety purpose and this is the face shield to protect the eyes from the sparks during the welding and these two are the metal pieces which we are going to do the welding gas welding these are the MS uh, uh, plates 3 mm of thick we will do for the lab joint for these metals and now we will see the process of uh, gas welding. Now with the help of the valve, we are releasing the both the gases, oxygen and acetylene. Now slowly open the valve of oxygen. And acetylene. So now once releasing the gases, through the torch the gases will come, both the oxygen and acetylene gas. Now these two gases are being ignited with the help of ignition. So like this we will get the flame. flame. So totally we have uh, three frames in this. One is carburizing, oxidizing and neutral flame. Now this is the <coughs> carburizing flame. 
The percentage of option is high. This is the oxidizing flame. So in this, you have the more percentage of oxygen. And this is the neutral flame. Both the gases are equally distributed, 50% and 50%. Now you have to arrange the metal pieces like this and before doing the welding you have to preheat the metal if any impurities are there you can remove by preheating process now with the help of filler rod we will see how to join the both the metal pieces Now after preheating, now you are starting the weld, welding with the help of filler material. Now that filler material will fill the gap between the two metals. Slowly the same force you have to apply throughout the joint in order to get uniform uh, distribution of the filler metal. And if you observe, the torch should not be contacted with the workpiece. So you have to maintain some gap. If you see closely, there is some gap between the workpiece and the flame. Now you have to remove the flux with the help of chipping hammer. So this is how you have to hold. This is the completion of the butt joint with the help of gas welding process. Like, share and subscribe, hit the bell icon for more updates.